Hi everyone, in the last video we added these two uh, simple rigid bodies. In this video I want to look a little bit more at how the, the constraints work. So if you recall, uh, in the last video we talked about this selected simulation. So if I, if I turn this on and I hit simulate, you can see there's this uh, constraint between the two, but it, it looks pretty ridiculous. So let's, let's make this actually uh, look like a person. So to do that, we want to go into the constraint mode. And now you can see there's this pink uh, cross, which represents the, the constraint or the joint between the two. And if I go in here under angular limits, I can see that everything is free. So if I go ahead and, and set this all to locked, and now I hit simulate, you can see that I can't actually move anything because everything's locked. Uh, and oh, just a, a thing to note, if you have selected simulation and you have a joint selected, it'll work, it'll work the same. It'll allow you to just uh, see the behavior on the joint. So, okay, let's, let's actually uh, do something. So if I, the way I like to work is I like to uh, tweak sort of one, one uh, axis of motion at a time. So if I change this to limited, you can see this green uh, fan shape and it's a little hard to see but at the top there's this yellow line uh, and the way it works is if I hit simulate I'm actually just going to change this to mode uh, and turn off mesh rendering and turn on constraint so now you can see that I can move this around and it's stuck between the the green th or inside the green fan uh, and that's that's pretty useful. So uh, let's make this uh, a little bit better. If you rotate this, uh, you have to. There's there's actually two modes of rotation. Uh, we'll start off with the one that you're more likely going to want to use. So you need to hold down Alt and rotate this down here. So now this this doesn't really make much of a difference. I just find it's easier to work with because I like it when the yellow is the yellow line is sort of going into the leg instead of uh, out of the leg, but it's it's really up to you. Like it doesn't, it probably doesn't really matter. Um, and let me just turn on the mesh. So okay, now the the leg. Oh, actually, one one more thing I just want to talk to you about is uh, another tip. I guess one thing I find is when you're you're trying to figure out the limits of limbs, it's actually easier if you use no gravity. So now I can easily pull it all the way, and I can see. Uh, sort of where the limits are without without the body moving. So uh, no gravity is, is pretty good for that. So we can see here that the, the thigh is not really moving up as much as it should. So we can fix that by going in here and changing the swing limit to let's say 75. So now if I simulate I get this which is uh, you know, it's probably not 100% accurate, but it's it's much better. So uh, now let's let's look at the other motions. So uh, now, like I said, I like to do it one one at a time. So I go back and I lock this, and then I change this one to limited. So now, if I come here and I hit simulate, then I can see it moves that much. And uh, I think this is okay to the right side, but not so much to the left side. So let's let's fix that. So if I change this to 25. The problem now is uh, I move enough sort of like my limit is correct to the left but it's not to the right. So what you can do is if you rotate but you don't hold alt, what will happen is oops, uh, you see there's the, the yellow line here. If I don't hold alt and I rotate the yellow stays where it is. So now if I do that and I hit simulate so now you can see the yellow is still going here which means that it'll have very little movement to the left and a, a, quite a bit of movement. Right. Actually, let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's make it 35. So, okay, so now if I hit simulate, uh, I can move a little bit to the left, but quite a bit more to the right. And obviously this is intersecting with this, but as we add more bodies, uh, it, it'll take care of that. So, okay, now uh, at the end, I want uh, both of these. So if I turn both of these on now, you can see we actually get this three-dimensional shape this is why I like to work with one axis at a time because I find it much easier to, to visualize than this kind of cone shape. But anyway, now if you hit simulate, you can actually get the full uh, range of the leg. And if we turn gravity back on, uh, we, we get that. 
So one thing uh, to note is there is um, some, some extra settings that we're going to change later to make this look more realistic. Uh, we'll get to that in a, in a later video. So uh, I'm going to take a break now and in the next video uh, we'll look at just adding more of these limbs and seeing how that's done. Okay, thanks. Stay tuned. Bye.